No plantain leaves, no mortar and pesto, but super soft and fluffy cocky beans made in diaspora. So quick and easy. Keep watching. Greetings to you all, beautiful YouTube family. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's your girl, Claudie. Welcome, welcome back to my kitchen. Let us make the most delicious and soft but fluffiest cocky beans ever in diaspora. Keep watching ahead because I'll be revealing the secret to you on how to make it just the same like this without using any mortar or plantain leaves. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so when I post any of my videos, you're going to be the first to receive the alert. So let us jump right into the list of ingredients. Right here, I'll be using some scotch bonnet, salt, palm oil, and for my beans here, that's a black eye piece. Uh, it has already been peeled. That's how I bought it from the store. It saves me time and the stress of peeling all the beans. And you can get this from any African store. This is how it looks like already peeled beans. Trust me, it is so easy it makes your work so easy trust me and then the next ingredient i will be using is spinach to garnish our cookie beans if you are in cameroon you can go ahead to use your cocoa yam leaves as usual so first off we want to start by blending our beans till it is coarse you don't want it to be smooth uh -uh. it should not be smooth that's the first important tip if you want to have a fluffy and soft cookie beans and you want to skip the mortar and the pesto part to be stressing yourself to make it fluffy you need enough water that's the first tip and you have to blend it so that it is coarse looking keep watching ahead because i'll be showing you the correct texture on how to blend your cookie beans so I just blended it with my with my pepper. If you like, you can use dry peppers. And after blending, I will just transfer into a bowl. But before that, I will show you the texture or how it's supposed to be. You see how that is. It's supposed to be watery like this. And next, you see those particles in there. You do not want it to be 100% smooth. Please be careful when you are blending at this point. So transfer into a bowl, then repeat the process for the rest of the beans. So guys, I forgot to mention for my beans, I soaked my beans overnight. That's the best thing ever. You have to soak your beans overnight, okay? So right now, this is how it's looking. You want it watery like this. Trust me, you want it watery like this. This is the secret that no one will ever tell you. This is how to make your work easy in diaspora, all right? Go ahead and add in your sword. But check the description box because I will drop detailed measurements for you. At this point, bring your sword, your spinach, and the palm oil. The only ingredients to taste for this recipe is salt. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah. After mixing that, let us prep our pot. You want to use your least favorite pot, okay? Always create a barrier between your wraps and the pot. I will be using this on mine. You can use plantain peelings or whatsoever, but you always have to create a barrier between the base of your pot and your wraps is gonna help prevent like it getting burnt and all that so now add water and let it go on the fire so it starts boiling or producing that beautiful steam so what we are going to be using to wrap our cookie beans today we are going to be using some aluminium foil and some parchment paper if you're used to my videos on instagram you will know that for my cookie beans or kwakoko or a goosey pudding or whatsoever i never ever use aluminium foil direct and you should avoid cooking on aluminium foil for 
that long because cookie beans has to cook for like an hour you have to prevent cooking on aluminum foil for that long it is not safe at all so just do the same like this fit it inside a pan like a bowl not a pan sorry a bowl so that you can easily transfer your mixed cookie beans inside so go ahead and put it put that inside then wrap and put inside your pot which is already forming some heat at the moment oh, african asian american and worldwide recipes pastries and bakes african asian american and worldwide recipes pastries and bakes easy to follow from kids to others ego yummy yummy ego yummy yummy easy to follow from kids to adults ego yummy yummy ego yummy yummy cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe So right now you see that just go ahead and cover your pot and let it cook for one hour okay one hour while it's cooking keep adding water as needed you, have, you want to be checking your water every five to ten minutes to make sure it hasn't dried off so it's gonna make it burn and one thing to do not um, add water in the pot like on top of the wraps always put it in the corners to avoid direct contact with the water and the wraps okay so i'm just setting my timer on my over on my um cooker about an hour i will be serving this with some plantains i'll just go ahead and peel them and boil with some pinch of salt Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, so this has been cooking for an hour. It's looking so good now. I'm just going to open it for you guys and let you see. So guys, I left mine to rest for a bit because this thing, sometimes aluminum foil is too hot. So I let it rest until it is cold, cold enough to handle. You see that? You see that, guys? Only on this channel, you're going to find such recipes, guys. This is so fluffy, soft, tasty, you name it. And for the parchment paper, it is a no stick. You see that you have your full cookie beans. Nothing is left on the parchment paper. Had it been you used only the aluminum foil, trust me, all your cookie beans will have been on the foil. And already cooked plantain and it's, it is ready to serve. You see how easy that is? So guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for all the love, the support, the comments the like we've grown so much over the years i really appreciate it guys but this is not the end okay keep supporting your girls that are gonna reach 100k okay one day is gonna happen so guys thank you so much for watching and to meet again in my next video bye for now and i love you all